In this video I will show you how to connect the database, the front end, to a data back end. Uh, in <coughs> this example I have a, an access database with three tables in a data container and then we have a front end and in the inside the front end um, we want to connect the uh, tables. What you see here is um, we have here on, a, on the left side is the navigation bar and in the nav navigation bar we have the um, we have three tables and normally you have to do it like this you have to con uh, connect the, da uh, the table and then you have to go to the table uh, connection manager and you have to run this by uh, manually but this is uh, uh, often very uh, let's say uh, a lot of work and uh, very faulty so <coughs> I um, for this case I made you uh, two, uh, two solutions the first one is if you want to run it with a by just simply by a macro code when you push this button or run it automatically then the data uh, data will the tables will be connected automatically uh, done by this one you need a table where you write the table name and the source and in the first case we take the fixed uh, path so we have uh, the we have those three tables which will be connected by the source the source is in this case uh, the the data path uh, the the path where the files are. Um, this is uh, useful when you have a fixed constellation in your uh, in your office. The other one is when you push this button, then the system looks up the uh, the folder where the front end is, and next to this uh, is assumed that the data uh, the data container is. Now, what does the system does do? When we push, um, when we look have a look on this. On the first solution, there's a it's a little bit mixed with uh, English and uh, English and German, but I think you will do it uh, anyways. So first we say okay, we need we have a database, and this is the, our data container. Uh, in this case, it's a ACCDB, so it's uh, ex uh, from Access uh, 2010 uh, upwards upwards. Then we say, okay, from the current d database, we uh, in this fixed solution, we say, take all tables which you will find in this external table where the tables are listed, and then uh, tell me which is the table, the table name which we want to um, to um, to change or refresh. And then, what is the source? And the source is um, the source is the path and the uh, the name of the container of the file itself. And then we say, okay, first in the first step, delete the file, the table, and then there comes a, a refresh or rebind that stuff. And this is rebinding is done by the do command transfer database as link Microsoft Access. And then we need the uh, the path to the file path to the data container as a table. We're connecting as a table, and then we say, okay, the what's the table name of the original path and the table table name of the uh, of the path? How we want to see that stuff in our own uh, table? Then refresh loop again, and finally close that stuff. So this means. When we are in this file, then just push that button and then three tables are refreshed. And now in this version, we said, okay, it's, uh, quite near, uh, close to that. This is the local version, uh, connect to this local database. And there we say, okay, what is my actual uh, path? So this is my front end, get the local path means for my current data, uh, for my current project, the path. So this is uh, the path where the front end is, and then we say, okay, <coughs> take the front end and the database name, which is here this uh, data container, and then the same stuff uh, like this. You will find the code on my website. 
either here in the German version or in the English version. Uh, it's placed on there and I also placed the download there so you have the f entire file there and you may use it in your own database.